We're here live on Piranha Vision, the championship practice edition, and we're talking with Andy Wagenheim, physician's assistant and head athletic trainer for the Central Penn Piranha. And Andy, uh, we'll start right off with big game for this week for the Piranha. They're, they're finally back in the championship game. Uh, can, you, can you tell me what it's like uh, for the Piranha to be in a championship game? That's just very uplifting. It's been about, uh, well, since 2005, since the last time we were in the championship game. And this is a team that's used to going to uh, the championship game every year back in the early days of the team. Uh, and we've been going through a drought. We got very close every single year, finally able to get uh, over the hump. And uh, on my part, very happy that we're going into this game healthy. Uh, prior championship games, uh, we've been uh, banged up. And I'm uh, looking forward to a game where we're going uh, full strength. Okay, Andy, and you've been fortunate to be with the team for, I believe, 16 years. Mm -hmm. That's a long time. Um, and this is a championship game for the Piranha. Can you just kind of put into words what it means for, for the Piranha to participate in a championship game? The morale of the team is, is definitely up. Um, it's nice to be in a championship game that way. It kind of leads into success for the following year. You get to end the season on a, on a championship and, and, and a win. And it's nice to uh, roll into the off season uh, like that. And this year we're, we're back in a championship game, and hopefully we'll win it, and it'll just uh, set the stage uh, for for next year and continue uh, to get better. Well, that sounds like a good plan for success for the Piranha. And, and when you joined the team back in the, the mid '90s, uh, did you ever envision that uh, you w you would grow with the team this long and and become a family? I, I did. Uh, my I started uh, this team. Um, uh, back in 1996 when I was still in school just to learn how to tape ankles at that time and I never expected 16 years later I'd still uh, be here doing um, um, sports medicine. I've uh, grown through the years as uh, with my uh, medical career as through an athletic trainer as well as a physician assistant um, and I still kept the team uh, through all my schooling all the years um, and it was experience uh, with the team that um, propelled me to motivate me to uh, become a physician assistant and, and do sports medicine in orthopedics. Well, it's great that the Piranha football program was a positive influence on your career um, along the way. And uh, we can't let you go without uh, bringing this up. Uh, there was a lot made about this earlier in the season um, when, when yourself and uh, I believe four, at least four other staff members on the, the Piranha medical staff, training staff, etc., mm -hmm. saved the helped save the life of an opposing player, the Carolina Stallions. Um, can you just maybe mm -hmm. put into words what, what was going through your head and everybody else's head that night when you, you stepped in, mm -hmm. all of you stepped in and, and became lifesavers? It's the situations that we're trained to deal with, we practice for. Uh, we very rarely get to have that situation in real life even though we practice it. Um, the most important thing is uh, before the season starts, we always update our emergency action plan that goes through what to do with any type of emergency on the field. Uh, we have one for East Pennsboro, we had one for City Island, I make one for every away game that we go to. So you'll have one in, in place for this weekend in Absolutely. case something happens. So it's almost uh, completely done at this point um, and I'll review that. It, it, it goes through everything of um, whether 911 is available, closest hospital, directions to the hospital, how to get an ambulance into the facility at away games. You never know what you're going to walk into. You never know who's going to have a key, who's going to lock the gates, uh, things like that. That's all done uh, before uh, I even start uh, taping for that for that game. So that way, when the game starts, the plan's already in my head. So it's all, only a matter of executing it when uh, when you have an emergency. In the uh, case you're talking about, a player had respiratory arrest, uh, stop breathing, and basically we just activated the plan that we had in place since the beginning of the season. And because of that, everything went smoothly, good transitions, and uh, no setbacks, and we had a good outcome. Well, it sounds like uh, you and your staff had, had a great game plan. The game plan worked out, helped save somebody's life, and uh, as we segue into this week, weekend uh, for the championship game, hopefully Coach Kerr and his staff have a great game plan in place as uh, they seek to bring home their sixth championship in team history. Um, Andy, thanks for your time, and we wish you, your staff, and the rest of the Piranha the best of luck this weekend as they occupy Allentown. Thank you very much.